It is a, a straight pull bolt action 12 gauge shotgun. And what's it got on it? Let's see, Adler 3220. For those of you who aren't aware, the Adler logo is like an eagle and Adler is the German word for eagle. And it's got Made in Turkey Adler Arms B220 12 gauge 3 inch BBL 20 inch. So narrow length is 20 inch. Now, I might just take this apart. So essentially, because I've got some points, things to point out. So it's pretty easy to, to, to just, it comes disassembled in a box, just a cardboard box, um, with three chokes uh, yeah. that just comes straight out that comes off so there's your barrel there's your foreguard foregrip whatever and what they say is they do not recommend that you take the cocking handle out, all right, because what's going to happen is everything's going to go to dying. Now, it's an interesting action because I think that the only thing, because, yeah, the cock's unopened, right? I mean, it cock's on uh, empty, so. So it's got, which is good, because the other straight pull that I looked at was the Dickinson, and the Dickinson was a lot smoother. It looked a lot better made, but uh, it, this one's ambi. You can switch that handle out to either side. The other thing is that this cocks on empty, uh, or locks back on it. The bolt locks back on empty. The Dickinson doesn't, so I didn't like that. The other thing I really like is the Dickinson did not have this. This is called the all weather. This has got the all weather finish on it, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Um, I really like that. During the tropics, you really need it. Um, yeah. One thing I want to point out. So it's got the bolt releases there. One thing that I want to point out, fire, one thing that I point out is that when you're assembly, assembling this, none of the videos that I've seen regarding assembly, disassembly, whatever, putting it together, gives you a very clear indication, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so it's really easy to put together. This just goes in there, like that. And then it just goes there like that. Now, when you are putting it together, right, there really is, how do you establish that that is all the way, okay? And I'll tell you how you establish it. Because the only thing that's holding that on is this nut. How you establish it is that you physically can't push it in any further, and, because it wasn't totally obvious to me, what am I doing here? Screwing in? Yeah. It's, yeah, that's, 
cut oh yeah one spot further which is that's a bit dodgy that system um, the the actual barrel and chamber assembly are just past the receiver I mean just past probably half a millimeter if that and you can actually when you cock it and you release it you can actually see that the extractor is in there's a there's a groove cut out where the extractor sits in inside the chamber because the barrel and the chamber are one piece um, this nut I mean you could just keep on tightening it um, I don't know if that's such a good idea um, what do I like about it uh, I like that it's ambidextrous, so you can have the cocking handle on either side. Um, it is it is a bit sloppy. Uh, the magazine holds five, so you can cock it. Uh, yeah, so what what you got to do? What you got to do? Um, like you, you you can't if that if that handle's forward and it's decocked, you can't load anything. All right, loading gate isn't going to move, so you've got to cock it. Now you can, then you still can't load, right? So what you've got to do is to be able to load it, you've got to have a bolt forward. Now you can do this one of two ways. The safe way is to send the bolt forward and then load with nothing in the chamber. Personally, if I'm alone, I wouldn't do that. But if I'm with other people, that's how I would do it. So I'll, I'll show you again. You cock it. Send the bolt home. Load five rounds in the magazine. If I was with other people, that's what I would do. If I was alone, this is what I would do. Cock it. Throw one in, and this is what I've seen most people do. Throw one in the chamber. Send the bolt home, put five in the magazine. So you have one in the chamber, five in the magazine. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't do that if I was with other people. This is not a game, all right? It's not a video game. This is a deadly weapon and safety is paramount. Now, so the positives are that the actual trigger is <laughs> it's like a shotgun trigger. Yeah, it's sort of, uh, sort of, what's the weight of it? I reckon it's about five, six pounds. About six, it, it feels really weird when it goes off. But yeah, it feels a bit strange. Um, it does have a hammer. Uh, let's see, what are the positives? The positives are that it's, it's pretty smooth, you know what I mean? Um, it's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Which I was not expecting. The Dickinson... I've got possums in my roof having a fight. Uh, the Dickinson was a lot smooth. Not a lot smoother, but it was smoother. But it doesn't have the options that I like so you've got the ambi handle you can have it on either side uh, and it cocks on empty or uh, the bolt stays open on empty Dickinson didn't um, you've got really handy iron sights so it's a it's a optic fiber red optic fiber front sight and um, two red dots on the rear sight the rear side is mounted on the barrel, so this is these sights. As long as they have mounted these, oh, because I haven't shot it yet. As long as they've mounted these sights straight, it's going to be a good system. Um, I like you've, you've got a, a three eighth dovetail or eleven mil, whatever it is, three eighth dovetail on the receiver, so you can mount a red dot or a, yeah, uh, whatever it's called, 
Um, what else do I like about it? The trigger's all right. Uh, the, the, you know, the the woodwork, well, it's not woodwork, it's all plastic, is okay. Uh, it's nothing special, obviously. It's a $600 shotgun, so don't expect the world. Um, now, I'd really like a different stock, because this stock is a little bit slim and trim for me. It's not bad. Away, possums. And what else do I like about it? Yeah, you know, it's got a sa it's cross bolt safety that is that is actually smoother than any other cross bolt safety that I have ever um, ever used. Um, I don't like it. It's, um, sling swivel is a part of that securing nut assembly. Um, yeah. It is what it is. It's a six hundred dollars shotgun. It's not shocking. Like it's not really bad. But um, yeah, then again, one thing I'm a bit dubious of is that the end of the magazine, the magazine cap, right, <laughs> is is a piece of plastic with a big hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. Possums. And. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd like that to be enclosed, not open like that. So you never know, you know, through some bad luck, whatever, you get some crap in there and then it gets on the round and then it gets in your chamber and the likelihood is low, but hey, it does have a just plastic built-in Picatinny rail at the bottom so you can mount a, a light, a laser, whatever you want. Uh, I'd probably mount a light. Um, what can I say about it? Um, I don't have any snap, I forgot to buy a couple of snap caps, so I haven't shot it yet, but that loading, there's nothing sharp on the loading gate, loading port, which is nice, and, and the actual, because that, that's alloy. The receiver's alloy. Everything. There's no real sharp edges on it. You know what I mean? Which is unusual for cheap guns. Usually they're just. Usually they're just a a, a, a burr factory. You know, a burr farm. Um, but no, this isn't. I don't actually mind it. So you've got this sling swivel. I think is actually part of the takedown assembly for the, for the stock, which I haven't taken off yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take the stock off and just check out, see if I can graft the, because uh, I've got a spare um, Magpul SGA stock, 870 stock. I'm just gonna see if I can graft it onto there, because I love the SGA stocks. I reckon they're fantastic. So I have to wait and see. But um, and those possums, uh, I don't know if you can hear that. Those possums are going to suck. I'm going to have to get rid of them. Yeah, tonight I'm going to lay a trap. I have got a possum trap and I do get rid of them constantly. Constantly. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, it's... I haven't, obviously I haven't shot it yet, so I, there's going to be a follow-up to this. Where you see me and probably someone who's got a property close by shooting it. I can't go to the range because all the ranges are shut and um, so yeah that's that so next time you see me with regards to this shotgun you'll see the results of the shooting so see you later